Welcome to Ensenada, Mexico. Arriba! What's up guys, Elden here, another video to a very long, after a very long day I see. Uh, five days I see guys, it was, uh, it's pretty long. I ended up coming down with something and I was in my room pretty much the whole time, unfortunately, but I didn't put out any videos, uh, just stayed in my room. And uh, I feel a lot better now. I got my voice back. A lot of hot toddies. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so far it's been a, a long trip, guys. 16, 16 days. It's nice. So it's been a nice vacation. It's been, uh, it's been fun. Hope you guys been enjoying the videos, man. It's been, uh, like I said, a long series. But uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll make a video at Sea Day. But uh, today I was, I definitely wanted to make a video. So I'm pushing through this. And I uh, feel a lot better than day one. Day one was uh, knocked me off my feet. But uh, yeah, it's been an interesting, uh, interesting cruise, to say the least. But uh, yeah, we're in Sonata. And uh, we got some stuff for you guys today. Got a, a five hour tour with uh, a tour guide and everything. So uh, yeah, it starts at 10. It's about 9.30 now. We're gonna head down, jump on. And uh, we should be back by like 3 o'clock, 3.30. That way we can get have some enough time to uh, check out stuff in town, do some other things, and uh, yeah. So let's get into Mexico and uh, let's have a good day. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here looking at uh, Carnival Radiance, man. It's crazy how smaller the ship is compared to ours. There's only maybe like one pool area right here, and that's uh, the water slides, which is kind of cool. They don't really have a back area either, but uh, it's an older ship for sure. The last Carnival ship I went on was uh, Carnival Inspiration, and then that was uh, that was a while back. And that that ship's been that's been taken down and uh, retired a long time ago. So, uh, but yeah, it looks like this ship's doing uh, still doing pretty well. So yeah, we got this day left, and in, in Mexico, and then tomorrow we're at sea, and then. Saturday, we are back home. And that's going to conclude our 16 day cruise. So, yeah, today is a little more planned out because last night we were in the casino and uh, we ended up winning some money. So, we're like, yeah, we're booking an excursion today. <laughs> we found one, this one, for it, uh, for a hundred bucks. Uh, it's super super cheap for what it is for five hours and there's zip lining involved uh there's some shops we go through there's some sightseeing areas uh and uh, i think there's more there's like these bridges we rock across is uh uh you'll see but it's i'm excited so but anyways it's only actually nine o'clock i thought it was 9 30 but uh we're gonna go upstairs go grab some breakfast and then uh get off the ship craziest thing happened last night we're in the casino they had an emergency on the ship where someone needed a blood transfusion. I've never heard that before, but it was an emergency blood transfusion. Luckily, the person got the transfusion, and uh, everything was okay. And uh, but yeah, it was scary, scary. <laughs> All right, going upstairs again. <sighs> Gotta keep a tradition. Keep tradition going. Wow, that is the calmest I've seen this pool this entire trip. <laughs> and again, we're not at sea today, so. But boy, does that look nice to swim right now. Well, breakfast was nothing special. <laughs> I missed the nine o'clock one, so I had to settle for the buffet breakfast, which isn't too bad if you mix it up right. But uh, yeah, today's weather is gonna be interesting, nonetheless. I just noticed this huge dark cloud coming in so it's definitely gonna be interesting um, something's going on up top here got some like caution tape going on up there huh but anyways um, yeah we're gonna be uh, heading down looks like it was it's been sprinkling off and on so it's not too crazy so I did bring a rain jacket just in case but uh yeah my last time here was definitely a lot better than this but temperature says it's 54 degrees so it should be a nice cool day. It's not crazy freezing, but uh, heck man, we're in Mexico. We're gonna have some fun. So it looks like they took the whole hand railing off up there. 
probably uh, repainting it or something. But yeah, nothing crazy. All right, made our way off the ship. It's about 9.55. We got time. <laughs> oh yeah. So today I'm meeting up with uh, Carrie, which is a friend of mine I met on the ship. Uh, so just hang, hanging out, been a lot of fun. So let's do this. Yeah, our ship's a little bigger. <laughs> Damn. It's nice. All right, we gotta get to the thing, to the excursion. What's up? <laughs> Almost there, guys. If you notice, I am not telling you guys the time. <laughs> We're gonna be on time. We're always on time. By the way, <laughs> saw this. Last night, I tried S Cargo for the first time ever on this ship, and I can still taste it. I don't know if it's the uh, S Cargo or what, but it's. I can still taste it. It was very interesting. But if you're ever gonna go on a, on a cruise, or if you ever wanna try something new, do it on a cruise because you get free entree as part of your uh, your dinner plan. So take advantage of that. Cool, here we are. Own little private car. Here we are. It's a whole resort up here in the mountains. Put out about a 40 minute drive, not too bad. <laughs> so it starts off, I think, way up here and you work your way down. So let's do this. Here comes the rain. <laughs> it's going to be a fun one today, zip lining <laughs> through the rain. Alright, so we can record on this adventure. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! All right, now we're walking across this bridge. <laughs> Holy moly, we gotta hold on to this. Walk across. We're strapped to this uh, thing here with this, so we gotta walk across. <laughs> this is cool, man. This is definitely worth it. This is a little adventure here. <laughs> There's a bunch of these we gotta go across to get to the other zip lines. I'm so glad the, uh, the rain stopped too. It is uh, sunny now. <laughs> oh, this is great. Does it give you anxiety, guys? <laughs> watching you, watching this? <laughs> Just one, one slip and it's gone. Oh my god. And now it comes down. <laughs> oh! oh. Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> oh. Nice, dude. Double. <laughs> How was it? Good. Good, good. Yeah.
Yeah, super muddy. <laughs> they put sand in the uh, mud so it doesn't uh, become dusty when it's dry out. <laughs> yeah, this is a little more difficult bridge here, so we're gonna have to put the phone down. <laughs> Sweet. Oh wow, look at these bridges. <laughs> they get a little more advanced as we get higher. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I didn't hear the first one. Okay. <laughs> Barrels, two people. <laughs> some uh, some uh, Indiana Jones stuff right here. <laughs> they need this stuff in Disneyland. <laughs> oh, that's the same thing. I guess that's smart that you're not stuck on one, but one rope breaks. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Everybody doesn't that's it. pull off. Done. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was fun. We have some water over there for you, oh, okay? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> you sound surprised every time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's a board in case someone were to fall. <laughs> the bus is the name of the place, and uh, it's, it's certified by TripAdvisor. And they have night canopy stuff to do too. That's pretty cool. Horseback riding. Pretty cool place, man. <laughs> Look at this view, guys. This whole place down here is a resort. And they have a water park down here as well. And little uh, cabanas or little places you can stay in. It's popping during the summer right now, but uh, during the winter it's closed. But they're zip lining, you know. This is the longest one of the zipline tour. <laughs> it goes all the way across. Like way up there. <laughs> Holy moly. <clears throat> Show off. <laughs>
<laughs> oh yeah that was fun that was fun so the trick is with the bridges guys is you do not look down if you look down then you'll miss your step so just focus on your steps and you'll get through those bridges really easy I forgot to mention that when we went over the bridge yeah this is another another one here I think this is the last one finally the sun comes out Okay, one, two, three, go. Thank you. <laughs> Last one, guys. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> it always spins me around. Ow. I don't want to go backwards. Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> cool. was it? Good. Good, good. Oh man, that was a good time. So worth it. <laughs> People are so nice here and super like informative. Heck yeah. Well, that was fun. That was fun. I definitely want to do that again. So, yeah, and it's a really cool resort, too. So, definitely check it out in the future. Tuna farms. Tuna fish farms. Bluefin tuna. We have arrived. Last time we took one of these white buses, and uh, it was it was fun. Had a group of people, but uh, this one's cool. We have our own little VIP tour guide here. This boy, I have all kinds of stuff down here. Interesting. All right, so down at the end of this, there's all these shops and stuff. All at the end is the uh, the blowhole, so we'll go down there. These guys are like the flea market on steroids from America. <laughs> they will cut you off and uh, yeah, try to get you to buy all kinds of stuff. Just gotta stay strong and uh, <laughs> know what you want already ahead of time. Lots of tequila testing, and if anybody's offering a taco, grab it. <laughs> yeah, don't fall for these. I don't know. If these are real or not, Coach, Gucci, yeah, Michael Kors. <laughs> oh, I don't think those are legit. I highly doubt it. They'll have it down on the ground like that too. Alicia's Taco Grill. There's all kinds of cool places down here. And remember, guys, everything that they offer you in Mexico, it's like a flea market. You can negotiate everything. They tell you five dollars. Give them four. They offer you ten. Yeah, six, five, <laughs> and more than likely they'll take it. That thing is—it's not like America. It's that's the final offer. They're gonna shoot high, so you go lower. Try to like uh, offer up. <laughs> paintball shots. <laughs> that's cool. And you get a shot of tequila with every uh, round of paintballs you shoot. <laughs> All right. So I remember this place from last time. I think it's the taco place I went to down here. I ordered three tacos, so we'll see how this goes. Oh wow, this is nice. Well, I went to this taco place, which I thought it was the same taco place I went to last time, but uh, it wasn't. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> if you guys want to, I had a lot of fat in my meat and it wasn't the best, but oh well. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, so many more places down here to check out. See, now that I have this, it'll protect me from other people making offers to me about drinks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I already have a drink. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's good. Lots of Mexican candy. Lots of tasting rooms down here. This is the place, Hannah Banana. This is where I went to last time. And then over down here, this is another uh, restaurant. But we could actually go to the top here and see the full view of all the area. Actually, we might do that. All right, this guy, tequila tasting down here at Haba Banana. So definitely come down here and check it out. All kinds of liquors, all kinds of tequilas. So yeah, they wanted $80 a bottle and 60 for the smaller bottles. Uh, holding off on this one, but it's really good tequila though, really good. Well, we're upstairs now. It used to be a bar right here. You see the little outline here where it used to be. But yeah, that's where we hung out at. And uh, now, we can't go upstairs because they're renovating up here. But we used to be able to go all the way up here and out and then this tower and then look out over the, the ocean. But uh, it was pretty cool. But uh, that's cool, they're renovating it though. And by the way, the animals here used to be able to get to uh, uh, hang out with baby lions, tigers, um, baby big cats. And uh, they had moved that to a sanctuary in, uh, down the road, actually, called Pai Pai. And it's like a full-on zoo now, so um, pretty interesting, though. Kind of interesting how things, things have changed in the last five, six years. But, yeah, no more bar up here. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. It's kind of like a jungle. A little jungle. Wanna <laughs> go down the slide? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Dang! <laughs> Ate it! Ate it! <laughs> That's how they warm them up. Yeah! Yeah, these are looking good. Clams. What's in it again? Clam meat. Clam meat. Tomato, onion, cilantro, butter, cheese, shrimp, and top chow with the olive oil and chipotle cream. All right. What it tastes in Mason with a lot of lime on it and yeah. the salty cracker would come out. Oh, okay. Mm, you're gonna love that. Man, these are good. Oh, yeah. You going? Right down there at the end. The and they have kebabs, too. Yeah, shrimp, onions. Look at these kebabs. Check this out, guys. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nine bucks. Nine bucks. Look at how big it is. Shrimp. Ooh, Ooh shrimp, onion, peppers, mushrooms. There you go. And we shall roll out the dressing at the house. Whether Sweet. Whether it makes it with a lot of lime and the salty crunchy, it is enough. All right. Give nice. Mine. Mine. Mine, mine. Mine. Not yours. Not yours. Not yours. Not yours. Wow. It is looking nice today, guys. Day of filming this is Thursday at, uh, well, let's see what time is it. 1.40 in the afternoon. Ship leaves at 4.30, so we got a couple hours. It's about a 40 minute drive back. So our tour guide said he'll make sure to get us back in time. So that way we're not stressing. <laughs> By the way, I've had this like empty for like, I don't know, 20 minutes now. Not one person's asked me about a, about a drink. <laughs> Kind of nice. Here's the sign. Woo and then uh, it blows over here. So the water will collect here, shoot up this, and it'll shoot up this wall. So the tide, I think, is a little low right now, so it's not really uh, not shooting up right now, unfortunately. Yeah, see, so it'll collect right here, come up and shoot up. Looks very wet though, maybe it was blowing not too long ago. But then because the water is just going down. Oh, a little bit. Got a little bit, little, little shooter.
There we go. Oh my god, that just happened. Oh yeah, yeah. I got that on video. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, probably shouldn't sit on it. <laughs> so water collects here and it goes into the crevice and shoots up. It's pretty cool how this how it works. Called the blowhole. Yeah, last time I came here, they didn't have all this uh, stuff out front to to sell you things. It was just like, you had it to yourself so you can come over here and just take a picture. Now they want to sell you mugs with your picture on it in front of the sign. And then, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff on top of that. So it's fun. Big flea market, basically. <laughs> but you can still get your picture in front of the sign. Uh, but there's just somebody there that's just trying to sell you extra stuff on top. But still, regardless, it's fun. Just gotta sometimes say no. Hey, buddies. Eating the pineapples. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are you doing? Oh, you got a friend. <laughs> wow. These are really cool. This is all street art made by hand. Just takes a plate and uses a uh, paint. <laughs> With finger. Pretty crafty. So they have bathrooms at the end by the blowhole. They have somebody standing out front trying to charge people to use the bathroom. Don't listen to them, just walk in, use the bathroom. <laughs> just a heads up. <laughs> Everybody's down here to try to make a buck off you. <laughs> All right, we got a shish kebab. How much was it? Nine dollars. Nine dollars. Nice. It's good. Oh, damn, here they all come. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Look at the figures. Look at the figures. He loves cucumber. He loves cucumber. Yeah. He loves cucumber. Ah, uh, little piggy. Um, hey, little beans. piggy, piggy. Look, tomatoes. <laughs> Good selection. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, apples. <laughs> Wait, the whole thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all day. Piggy, piggy, piggy. All day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we made it back to our parking lot, and the guy's not here. Not sure what's going on. I think this might be him up there. We're gonna go see right now. I can tell it's him because his tires are very low in the front. <laughs> That's why I noticed earlier. All right, we're back. <laughs> I thought this said climax. <laughs> All right, back at the port. No giant flag out today. I don't know what's going on. Something's going down I'm doing some work down here but yeah not a bad it's uh, it pretty cool we paid $200 for two people to be basically chauffeured around Mexico 
and then we get to do the zip lining which is included if you would have went on our own it would have been $20 a person and then the uh, the, the blowhole uh, area now that's a tourist trap guys so we found out that uh, a lot of those things that are for sale in the other areas in Mexico are a lot cheaper so just fair warning they're gonna highball the heck out of you so but yeah heading back to sh uh, sh the ship we made it back on the ship going to Johnson's all right after all those stairs we are back <laughs> oh my god I am out of breath Let's go to sleep. No. Uh, so long, Ensenada. Oh, it feels good out here. It is very warm inside. It was a fun day. I really enjoyed it. They got a yacht over here. Fancy. And they got this little uh, boat over here. That looks pretty cool. Huh. Yeah, let's take a closer look at the uh, carnival ship here. So, it's really nice that they have like the water slides up top. I imagine there's like a pool right there in the center area. And then behind here, a little area up top. It's like some basketball. And uh, yeah, it's like they're walking across like some some of those bridges that kind of what we did today. Yeah, there's probably a pool right right in this little area with the umbrellas right there. But they really don't have like a a back area. It's kind of interesting sh ship here. So like a back area to go swim in, like the hot tubs, kind of like I have on this princess ship. But uh, I think this one's definitely one of their smaller ships, for sure. And an older ship, too, at that. But, yeah. I like seeing other ships. It's kind of cool. Now I know. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's going to conclude the video here in Ensenada, Mexico. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time. This is actually probably... I mean, I had a good time in Hawaii, but uh, the most active, I, I was, you know, I actually had a bit of, like, an excursion. It was nice. I was just going to go kind of do re repeat of what I did last time, or maybe even take a, just a, a bus ride down to the blowhole area. But, I mean, uh, it's kind of like one and done, almost. Like, I went there my first time with a bunch of people, and it was kind of interesting because, you know, we had a bunch of friends to go with us, so it was kind of easier to, uh, you know, divert, divide, div Anyways, to avoid the the, uh, the sellers and all that, you know. But, uh, but yeah, but down there on your own, you're kind of like, yeah. But uh, no, this is cool, though. It was a cool experience. I think next time I come down here, I definitely want to check out uh, the, where the cats are at now. The Pai Pai, I think it's called. It's like a zoo type thing where you walk through and all that. They actually moved it down the road. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, definitely want to check that out next time I come to Ensenada. But uh, if you guys are looking into coming to Ensenada, it's not that bad. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like, <clears throat> um, not high class, not middle, not low class. It's kind of the middle area. You know, there's lots of things to do and little holes in the wall places and stuff. Um, the beach, the beaches are nice. Um, you can take horses on the beach. There's lots of little places to eat. So um, definitely worth checking out. So the food here is good. Okay, I know uh, maybe some of you guys may be questioning, is the food all right? You know, you just got to kind of look around, look for those lines of people, you know, look where it's busy. Um, some places will even be recommended by uh, TripAdvisor or uh, even Princess will even recommend uh, some of these places here. So um, definitely worth checking into. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, really, some of the people down here are really amazing. Our, ta our little, I don't know what you call it taxi, but our, our chauffeur guy was really nice. Uh, he didn't really know a whole lot of English, but what he did know, um, was really informal and uh, it was nice, uh, you know, we, it was cool. He helped us out and we kind of helped him out and uh, uh, we had a good time, man. It was nice uh, with him. So, but yeah, like I said, 200 bucks. If you guys want to know the information about this, I could put a, a comment down below. Um, Carrie, if you're watching, uh, if you want to leave that information, Carrie's the one that actually found this and I uh, thought it was a good idea and I was like, yeah, let's do some zip lining. You know, it's been a few years since I did zip lining 
Uh, and if you guys are trying to do zip lining and you're not sure about it, once you get past that first zip line, it is a lot easier after that. It just you get on, you just hold on, and it is fun, man. It's 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 a lot of fun. So I feel like anybody could do it. It's just uh, you know if you're afraid of heights, I probably wouldn't do it. But uh, other than that, it's um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So. But yeah, it was cool. I like to do the, uh, the the bridges and all that. That was kind of different um, compared to what I did last time. And Ca uh, Catalina Islands was the last time I did zip linings, zip line, zip lining. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, oh, man, tomorrow is a sea day, and then back in San Francisco, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Sorry, I can uh, make a lot of videos for this past like four or five sea days. I've just been kind of sticking it out in the room, trying to get through this little whatever it is I have. And, uh, you know, drinking a lot of hot toddies, and man, oh. But I'm glad I was able to get out of the room. My voice is still not there 100%, but I'm, st I'm glad I had the energy, and I, you know, it's just phlegm right now. I'm not, uh, like, you know, lethargic, or lethargic, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> uh, lethargic, I guess, yeah, lethargic. Uh, you know, and low energy, you know, kind of feel a headache and body aches and all this other stuff. So, um, but yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing all right. So, hanging out, a lot better. I'm glad I got out to Mexico and got this uh, documented and had a lot of fun. So, anyways, guys, thanks for enjoying the video. My name is Eldon, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next adventure. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye. It's pretty interesting how they back out of the port here. So we're actually backing up closer to the ship. Super tight for how big our ship is. The last time I was on this ship, we uh, docked there. Whole ship's doing a 180 right now from the tugboats. They're pushing the ship this way over here. And then the other side of the ship, they're pushing the ship this way. <laughs> it's pretty cool.